no extra thingies, I guess, but we still have a lot to watch. So I guess we can do that for a bit. So the introduction video. So I know this one already. Our goal is to study the enemy and deter their advance. We must stop them breaking through our lines at any cost. We continue looking for a way out of the situation. Tank groups are being sent to Murney every day. Colonel, I've got... Not now, Hope. <laughs> Get the night. <laughs> Every new raid, we gain combat experience. The enemy has changed, but we're also becoming more experienced and angrier. Why we angrier? Understand them better. Not it's more motivated to win. Why angry? Oh yeah, watch the reel. That is pretty much the videos uh, that are uh, that you decode. That's the reel. So interesting that they also put it in here. Watch the real. But this is our duty. So I really guess that there are just many tank groups going to Murney on just each every day. That's why they gather so much information in just a few days. Also, if I should believe that voice command in game, no. I haven't heard it this time. So well, honestly, I haven't heard that many voice commands. <laughs> Now what's actually is written down there? The immortal at eleven o'clock. What? How's that? Is this phase one? Is this phase one? So that's really important. So it's phase one. So we know that the mortars comes up already in phase one. So that's an important thing. Weak spot. Spotted. Colonel, Weak sir? spot spotted. <laughs> Colonel, sir. I think we have a chance to destroy it. Oh my god. Yeah, we know this one. So important information right there. Watch the reel. So this the this these are the reels. Reel one, two, eight. So let's watch reel one and see what we can receive from that. The analysis department report following the results of the operation conducted by Group 36. Group 36. The incident occurred during the third phase, when tanks from the group encountered the Immortal near Magnus. One of the vehicles was lost almost immediately. Another tank, the Goliath, hey, ended up Goliath. in close proximity to the Immortal. The Goliath is in the game right now. The the enemy. The Immortal rammed him. This led to an unexplained event which caused a bright flash of light. During the incident, the vehicle that was recording everything moved to phase zero, as did the Immortal. No other group managed to do so previously. What? So what I can get out of it is that they encountered the Immortal at the end of the final phase. And somehow they managed to go towards phase zero with the immortal but that doesn't make any sense Led to an unexplained event which caused a bright flash of light but that is just the, the switch towards different phases during the incident bright flight. the vehicle that was recording everything moved to phase zero as did the immortal the immortal no moved to phase zero managed to do so previously weird so they managed to get the immortal to phase zero that would mean that he is in the well real world. And, and group thirty six, so it took thirty six groups to let towards this event, I guess. Right? So yeah, if with twelve groups a day or a dozen groups a day or so, it can be done in a few days or something. Real two, it really bothers me that it only took two day a few days to, to well uncover this. Yes, uh, general. 
Oh, tank groups continue moving deeper in Mernie 13. Our goal is to. Oh, this is 32 hours before. Oh. Find the enemy's sore spots. At the moment, we're conducting reconnaissance to determine what. It so this is pretty much what happens previously here. This is the reconnaissance bit. So f this is happening 32 hours, only 32 hours before the events of this year. Since to determine what it could be and what it looks like. We don't have enough information about the previous known breakthrough, but we're studying the enemy and working on different strategies. We should see results soon. Ooh. Who is that? Being here has allowed us to improve the capability of our combat vehicles. I'm sure we'll find a weakness in the Immortals' defenses. Hurry up, Carson. The personnel is limited. Give it everything you've got. What do the scientists say? Scientists have helped us a lot, but war is not their business. They gave us Magnus, but it's the tanks that will bring us victory. Okay, interesting. So, and from another source, they got all their tankers, which is a lot. If I, again, need to believe that uh, that many groups before incorporating the immortal weaknesses in just a few days, they needed a lot of tank groups. So this source of, well, good tankers. A vehicle. That uh, needs to be a lot, so I don't know who is the other person on the other side of the phone. Maybe the the guy from the uh, Azagir or the Steel Hunter project. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. That would be nice if that is again a parallel connection with each other. I'm sure we'll find a weakness in the Immortals' defenses. Hurry up, personnel is limited. Personnel is limited, though. So, not a lot of trust in the scientists, though. <laughs> which, which, which might be proven Professor wrong. Professor Merkulov. I continue Wait. the work. I continue the Merkulov. Merkulov? Isn't that the same professor who discovered the... Murnium? I think that's the lead scientist of that whole, uh, of previous year. That uh, discovered and studied the Murnium. Uh, Murnium. Interesting. Interesting. I continue cup holder. the work you started in Muni 13 with enthusiasm. Just as you thought. Miriam is a substance that is not comparable to anything on Earth. Ooh, but yes. very little of the substance has been delivered to my lab. Oh. The military doesn't even want to hear about collecting more Miriam. No, because collecting more and getting it away from its original deposits would mean that the Wait, it would react and it would cause a further spread of Weirdness, I guess. I'm so I understand why they don't are very hesitant on uh, giving her miranium. In fear that her fucking laboratory <laughs> gets so fucked up. <laughs> in resolving this issue, you understand the importance of my work, like uh, Miriam. I'm asking you to assist in resolving this issue. You mm. understand the importance of my work like no one else. I've been testing different Magnus settings for several days to achieve the result, and I what? think I found the right one. We can bring the immortal closer to us. This is a perfect opportunity for my research. Whoa, what? So that's big. She is white. You can. The perfect opportunity for my immortal close opportunity. I think I found the right way. The result. This is way. This is one. This. Ah. This is here. Very important. Different Magnus settings. That is very important. To bring the immortal closer. Bring the immortal closer to us. Hmm. This is a perfect opportunity for my research. I'm Come in. Very interesting. They reset the, the she is tampering with the settings of the Magnus in order to bring the immortal closer. Maybe towards... Wait! That's why the Immortal is in Phase 1! That has to be it. The Magnus setting is... So the Magnus is luring enemies because there are always guards around them. 
but I think it may also lure the immortal out, especially in later phases. Previous year, it was only in the latter phases that the immortal came out. But in phase one, let hear me out. This this is very important. In phase one, the visibility is better. So that is why they might uncover the weak spots. But that then, then again, in the game, you don't see them. So it might be an interesting theory. Okay. Will three, four, I mean, the archive. Miriam research is in the active stage. Thermal analysis is useless. <laughs> I have yep. not been able to observe any changes in the matter structure. Moving to spectral analysis. Spectral analysis, oh. Miriam ions and atoms. A reactor impact. Converting the glow to the spectrum. Of course, the glow. starting to decode. Yes. Damn, what the hell are you? <laughs> there are no parallels within any current references of spectral line developments. Wow. We should proceed with nuclear magnetic. So, even the spectral field, so the purplish glow, isn't anything we have seen before. Interesting. Resonance. Wait, what? Resonance. Nuclear magnetic resonance? What the hell is that? <laughs> That's dangerous. I'll have to change the collector settings for the next group. Ah, uh, there you have it. There's no other way. So that's why they changed the collector settings so they can be more contain more concentrated miranium. Maybe that uh, had lured out the the immortal. Or they or they saw or they noticed that it lured out more enemy forces including the immortal so according to intelligence the known rift was not completely closed in 1946 wait what this is not in 1946 wait a minute wait when, when was it again it was 1963 wait i got the timelines all wrong ah uh, my head spins a military operation was launched but but we don't have any details on how it was conducted and its outcome. According Which to rift? scattered data, it's, it we must be our rift. The enemy is learning the encounter. Is learning as they encounter. Yeah, the enemy is taking those tank groups, recompositing the tanks, and make them one of their own. Tank groups. A similar tendency was also observed in Mirny. Please record any changes in. Wait, a similar. Wait a minute. Any changes? Well, the tendency was it's similar, so it's not only happening in Murney. As it here, maybe. Observed in Murney. Please record any changes in enemy combat behavior during the operation in Murney 13. Hmm. Okay, so. As a game might also be involved. That I thought so, because it had a very close connection to Bernie. It's only 20 miles away. I know that out of my head. <laughs> okay, real six. This is the last one. The last two I will uh, I will not discuss because I don't have them. And <laughs> you, uh, you see the complete uh, decoding of the reels in an upcoming video, I guess. If I managed to do so. It is needed not only for military purposes, but also for research. There's not enough of it for my work. Our main goal is to close the rift. All our effort is dedicated to this. Studying Miriam is secondary. We can hmm. increase the capacity of the collectors, and then the groups will bring more Miriam. Enough for everyone. I discussed this option with our engineers. They say it's dangerous for the tanks. Yep. An unpredictable increase in temperature. Ooh. And I'm not ready to risk my vehicles and my people. Isn't it worth the risk for the sake of a scientific breakthrough that will change humanity? Hmm. Hope. No discovery is worth it. And now, I think we should all get back to work. Interesting. That's an interesting switch of character. I thought Hope was that very moral scientist and 
the general was more this, this hardcore, just all military purpose tunnel vision, but oh, hope is actually uh, putting scientific breakthrough above human life, so it seems, or just the risk, increased risk, just, which was the general mentality of scientists, but it doesn't give them a good morality. In turn, the general does have it, so he's concerned about his personnel. So interesting. So I hope it's uh, less uh, empathetic than I thought she was. So that is what we can uncover for now. So a lot of interesting things. A few things that contradict each other, I notice. I really want to know what all about the... Uh, what did she say here? Again. Ab this, this was about the... Close proximity to yeah, them. that it, it happens at the end phase when they discover the the weak spots. While later on, it it it's more logical that it happens with with also in combination of the introduction that it happens in the first phase that the immortal was lured due to the different settings and maybe high concentration of myrnium. And finally, this year, I mean, 1946, did it really happen then? I thought it was more around 1952 or so, but there was another rift, might be another rift, I don't know. I really want to discover more, but that's all that I will do for now. may put this one on YouTube to <laughs> get some uh, satisfaction from the viewers that are requesting some more diving deeper into the lore. But that is what I can uncover for her so far. I will uh, work towards uh, getting all of the reels combined and making a story again similar to the uh, story I thought about uh, Mirny 13 last year, as much cohesent and with the contradictions either explained or left out as just random noise. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it then. I will also stop the stream. So hope you enjoyed it if you watched. And I will see you next time. Later.